How you doing boys? Today we've got an uh, unboxing of uh, Ishin 600mW transmitter set with camera as well with a CCD camera symbol is uh, like this, you can, you can have a look some specs there, I hope you can see it camera with it is a CCD camera, Ishin CCD camera 800 TVL 148 degree field of view and 600 milliwatt FPV transmitter yeah so that should be nice set for FPV my quantum goggles actually because I want to use it with quantum goggles and uh, V1 actually if somebody is interested I've got the V1 quantum goggles which I'm just building now so let's open it Got instruction there. Yeah, basic instruction. So power supplies nine to between nine and twenty three volts. Consumption sixty milliwatt milliampere, sorry, sixty milliampere at twelve volt. Major C C D more than 800 TV line video system PAL NTSC FPV tuned light handling tuned light handling right anyway some some frequencies there somebody is interested I hope you can see it some basic instructions yeah then we've got box full of goodies which is cardboard box of course instruction and we've got uh, whip antenna some wires My thirsty guinea pig is drinking now. You can hear it a little bit in background. Whatever. He's always thirsty. So, as you can see, that's it. But that's nice packaging. Foam. Springy foam. Maybe you can use it for something. Like an underlayer for something. Anti vibrations kind of thing. So, you've got five. 0.8 gigahertz whip antenna with it just uh, my good advice just put your antenna straight away you can you can change it for cloverleaf antenna or whatever but just make sure that whip antenna is installed before you'll turn your transmitter because if not if that part is empty, antenna part is empty, then it's possibility you'll burn out your transmitter because all this power can get out, you know, and then it's not the best thing you can do for your electronics. So, uh, of course, you can see there, Ishin ET600. 32 channels, 600 milliwatts. So that's what I've got here. Let's cover it with like a kind of shrink wrap. You can see glare. But the thing is, it's even here. So you need to use your razor sharp blade or something just to remove this piece of shrink wrap here. Just to connect your wires, I believe, because it's impossible because that's blocked by this piece of uh, freaking shrink wrap but that's good anyway 
good protection and you've got of course some wires to connect it so one is for camera and then there's one for your transmitter yeah that's that's a camera wire that's uh, long enough to connect it anywhere on your model and uh, there is as well 3S, uh, I believe, yeah, that's 3S balance port plug. So I'll just simply just connect it to your balance port uh, of 3S battery and that's it. And then you've got last on the list is camera with a lens protector, of course. So that's Ishin camera, CCD sensor, system is uh, PAL, this one, and uh, that's it basically. You can just uh, some cir circuit board, you know, with a bunch of uh, processors on it, and that's it got four holes here so you can install it anywhere or I've bought another like a camera mount then I can change angle as well because that will be installed on my uh, my drone which is uh, Alien X frame based on a uh, DJI F450 drone I can I can show you now so that set will be installed on this model just right here I'm still working on it so it's plenty of work to do as well but you know uh, that's uh, R2 pilot with GPS APM actually and I've got uh, again multi-star 4000 3S battery turn G by turn G actually so they'll be here they'll be installed and then I've got uh, turn G radio as well with it 1000 kV motors on it pro flight freaking pro flights yeah awesome motors and Simon K 30 ampere we can regulators, voltage regulators, ESCs, 30 amperes, you can see there, prof lights as well. So, yeah, it's a lot of work to do on it. I want to install gimbal on front with uh, SJ4000 camera or something else, but something similar to SJ4000 and then this Ishin camera will be uh, somewhere here on front of it somewhere here I think because there will be gimbal there or gimbal will be a bit lower and then camera will be here so anyway something like this but yeah it's a lot of work to do but uh, yeah it's flying it's a uh, very fast very very stable uh, it can do missions you know you just program it in mission planner and off you go you know flip the switch and that's it it's flying by itself so but enough about this that just my uh, my model which I'm working on it now so well, this set will be installed on it because I want 600 milliampere, uh, milliwatts, sorry. Uh, just because I want to have uh, quite a lot of range. Because I've got another set which is 200 milliwatts, but uh, that's for another model. So I want to convert my uh, SEMA S8C into FPV flyer as well and just for training purposes because that's a toy grade model and uh, 
I can just wreck it and there's no problem because it's uh, very very cheap parts are very cheap as well so it's good for training in FPV flying and uh, really advanced machines right here I'm just working on it so uh, but it's it's very fast and uh, you know there'll be a lot of videos with it so please subscribe thanks for watching and uh, thumbs up yeah see you later so that's it that's what you've got inside of this box thank you and if you can see uh, something uh, dodgy or you can hear it probably my guinea piggies so by the way see you later man